Manchester United receive approach from Premier League clubs over Anthony Lone. Manchester United have received inquiries from multiple Premier League clubs over the possibility of signing Anthony in the January transfer window, according to reports in Brazil. The 24-year-old joined United from Ajax for an initial €95 million, Euros, £82 million fee in 2022 but has struggled to make an impact since his move to the Premier League. Anthony has scored just 11 goals in two seasons at United, while this term he has yet to start a game in either the Premier League or the Europa League. According to Goal Brazil, United have decided to let Anthony leave on loan in the January window. And the report adds that United have already attracted interest from clubs in the Premier League. Ajax have also held internal discussions about re-signing the Brazil International, although reports this week claim that the Dutch club have doubts about a move for their former player. It's understood that Anthony is keen to secure more playing time but wants to remain in Europe. When asked about Anthony's situation at United last month, Ten Hag said, he's impatient, he wants to play. But in top football there are laws. You pick the team that has most chance to win the game, the one with the best dynamic, the best chemistry. Players have to fight for their positions. The other players are doing so well, they're contributing. He has to get over them. He has to earn the right in training. The Brazilian has traveled with United squad to Turkey for their Europa League match against Fenerbahce on Thursday evening. Jose Mourinho reveals his two favorites to win the Europa League. Jose Mourinho believes Manchester United and Tottenham are the two favorites to win the Europa League this season. United have begun their Europa League campaign with draws against FC20 and Porto and are looking to secure their first win in this season's competition against Mourinho's Fenerbahce in Turkey on Thursday evening. Tottenham, meanwhile, have registered victories against Karabag FK and Ferenc Veros, which gives them a strong change of securing an automatic place in the knockout phase. Mourinho, who won the Europa League with United in 2017, has defended the performances by Eric Ten Hag's side in Europe this term and the 61-year-old feels his two former clubs are in the best position to win the tournament. They, United, didn't win, they didn't lose and in this format where everybody tries to figure out what we need but nobody knows, I think every point you get is always a difficult point, Mourinho said. To play in Porto is not easy, to get a point in Porto is not easy for anybody. We also played against 20, of course, the world expects Man United to beat 20 at Old Trafford but it was a difficult game. What I can say is one thing are the results that Manchester United are having and another thing is the potential of the team. The potential of the team is high, I think the two draws in the Europa League doesn't favor us but also doesn't make a huge difference. At the end of the day, this new format will always allow that the top teams are going to qualify. No problem for a top team to lose 3 or 4 matches out of 8 because then they will win 3 or 4, they will make 12 points easily and they qualify, so I think they are in a stable situation. If I have to say now which are the two biggest candidates to win the Europa League, I think it's easy, Man United and Tottenham. The Premier League is a different level of quality, it's a different level of intensity, it's a different level of pace, it's a different level of tactical culture, it's a different level of everything. I think tomorrow we are going to play against one of the two strongest teams. Alvaro Fernandez breaks silence on Manchester United transfer links. Benfica left back Alvaro Fernandez has insisted he's only focused on Benfica despite recent links with a return to either Manchester United or Real Madrid. The 21 year old did not get the opportunities he would have wanted at United under Eric Ten Hag but that didn't stop the manager from revealing that the club will continue to monitor the left-back's development due to the buyback clause included in his deal. This season the Spanish fullback, who is enjoying his football in Portugal, has kicked on after securing a permanent deal at Benfica. He initially joined the Portuguese giants on loan last January before impressing the coaches enough that they saw a future for him at the club. Fernandes, however, does not seem bothered by the speculation that has spread in his name. It can only be a positive thing for a young footballer to be linked with the biggest clubs in the world. That tells us he is showing clear signs of progression, even in the Champions League this season. When asked about the transfer links and a potential return to Old Trafford, where he was previously overlooked, Fernandez stressed that his only focus right now is Benfica. Fernandez told record, I only think about Benfica. I'm only focused here.
I'll try to keep up the same level, try to help the team as much as possible. I think it's way too soon to say this. Anyone saying yes this early is jumping the gun on the back of hype. Fernandez needs to prove himself over the course of the season and maybe beyond that if he wants to make the next step in his career. Benfica are tough negotiators and it's worth noting that United also get a share of the sell-on fee. That's why I wouldn't see it as a bad thing if Real Madrid were serious about having him back. They signed Fernandez for £9 million with favourable bonus from a United perspective. It's also easy to say in hindsight that Fernandez should have got more chances at United. Ten Hag wasn't to know that Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia would be out for such a long time. We wouldn't be having this conversation had Shaw been fit which is why we need to identify a new primary left-back for the future. United have been linked with Girona left-back Miguel Gutierrez as a potential left-back option. The former Real Madrid fullback has continued to impress this season and is expected to make a big move in the next year. More stories slash latest news. Manchester United transfer target continues impressive Champions League goalscoring run. Manchester United transfer target Florian Wirtz scored the opener in Bayer Leverkusen's 1-1 draw at Brest in the Champions League on Wednesday. The attacking midfielder is regarded as the hottest prospect in Germany right now after starting the new campaign strongly for the current Bundesliga champions. Bayern Munich are expected to go all out for Wurz in the next summer transfer window, but reports suggest he's also attracting interest from top European clubs. The list includes United which doesn't come as a surprise because our team is lacking goals. According to Sky Sports in Germany reporter Florian Plettenberg, Bayer Leverkusen are determined not to strengthen Bayern by agreeing on a deal with them for Wurz. It is understood that Leverkusen's preference is to sell Wurz to a bidder from a foreign club. If Bayer Leverkusen are to get the ideal scenario, it would be for all of the big European clubs to join the race for his signature. Wurz has already been linked to Arsenal, Man City, and Liverpool. That means the 21-year-old could be involved in a bidding war next year. Only time will tell if United's interest is firm enough to get involved. Wurz is under contract at Leverkusen until 2028 and he may even sign an extension in the near future. Leverkusen's opener against Brest was Wurtz's third goal in three outings in the Champions League. It's an impressive tally for a 21-year-old and shows that the player is developing quickly and proving himself on the biggest stage. Wurtz takes the ball at the edge of the box and wastes no time striking the back of the net with his composed effort. He also contributed 22 goal contributions during Leverkusen's Bundesliga winning campaign last term. The Bundesliga champions will be disappointed with the draw but they still got a point and have one of the most exciting players in Europe at their disposal to help boost qualification chances. Wurtz is worth keeping an eye on.